Taekwondo player Palesha Govardhan creates history for Nepal by winning bronze at the Paris Paralympics 2024. Palesha believes bigger success can be achieved if the state increases investment. Karnali Highway's Dailek Road section remains obstructed since four days. Halting of 150 trucks carrying apples raises risks of losing millions of rupees. At least 20 people killed by Israeli attacks in Nusarat, central Gaza. At least 34 people killed across the Gaza Strip today itself. And the National Women's Football League to kick off tomorrow. Teams aim to perform well despite poor preparation. 45 matches scheduled in a month. Taekwondo player Palesha Gordon has won a historic bronze medal for Nepal at the Paris Paralympics 2024. She has become the first Nepali player to win a medal at the Paralympics. She won the bronze medal in the K44 women's under 57 kilogram category. Nepal have not bagged any medal at the World Cup, Olympics or Paralympics prior to this. In the Repishas match, Palesha defeated Serbia's Maria Misev 15-8 to clinch the historic bronze medal. Palesha was behind by 3-0 in the initial two minutes of the match. However, she made an outstanding comeback. With one minute and five seconds remaining in the match, the score was tied at seven. However, Palesha staged an attacking performance in the last minute to win the bout 15-7. She had defeated Sophie Kavarjan of France 2-1 in the first match. In the quarterfinal round, she was defeated by world number one Silvana Mayara Cardoso Fernandez of Brazil, but she defeated Venezuela's Valeria Morales by a huge margin of 31-0. With history being made for Nepal, Palesha will be awarded 6.5 million rupees from the government. This is based on the National Sports Council Act 2021 that has provisioned 13 million rupees for the gold medalist of the Olympics or Paralympics, 9.7 million rupees for silver medalist, and 6.5 million rupees for bronze medalist. Palesha's coach, Kabiraj Negit Lama, will be awarded 585,000 rupees, while Nepal Taekwondo Association will be awarded 1.192 million rupees. Earlier, Bharat Singh Mahata of Taekwondo had lost in the K44 men's under 58 kilogram category and had suffered loss to Japan's Mitsuya Tanaka 19-3 in the round of 16 match. The third Nepalese player to participate in the Paris Paralympics, Bhimba Kumal, will play in the men's 50 meter freestyle S9 category this Monday. Missing a body part is not a weakness, it is the greatest strength. Palesha Govardhan believes in this principle. She also proved it by winning a historic bronze medal for Nepal at the Paris Paralympics 2024. She succeeded in hosting the national flag at the Olympic arena. Remark Palesha made after returning from the Tokyo Paralympics 2020. At that time, Palesha, who made history by winning two bouts, came close to the bronze medal but failed to win it. Turning failure into inspiration, she fulfilled her promise at the 2024 Par Paris Paralympics. Qualification tournaments. And the Nepalese flag flying in Paris. As a, I mean, I'm more sanga, like good news for Nepal. We were able to win bronze medal for the country. Now we can proudly say I'm a song of any Yauta medal, sir, Paralympics water. And I'm really happy that you medal more water. I was so suddenly they expect going to walk with you. I was like, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. And I'm really happy, you know, my little one to go up, go support lights, any Yota medal, they that's any Yota and two look gift, Dina Pai Materi Kusiba. 
Felicia's bronze medal at the Paris Paralympics is the biggest success achieved by Nepali sports so far. Nepal had started competing in the Paralympics since 2004. Felicia is the first Nepali player to participate in two Olympics. Nepali Kalari only chance Pio Bani, Moga Pio Bani, Ramro training Bani Marvin Pio Bani. I mean, Kosei Kalari with the Kongs, you know, Nepura, the Hesi Kosa, Nepal, my Taikondo, a street, Taikondo, the only some must be Kilma, a Hesik product together. This is my number one kill over Nepura, the Hesi Kosa. Palesha has played an important role in introducing para sports to the people of Nepal. Palesha, who started participating in international competitions since 2018, had won a gold medal in the Asian Youth Para Games, bronze in the Asian Para Games, and gold in the Asia Qualifier of the Paris Paralympics. <laughs> Palisha trained in Britain for a month before the Par Paris Paralympics. There are no physical structures for para sports in Nepal. Para national sports competition has not been held in the country yet either. Palesha has not only written her name in history books of Nepali sports, she has inspired an entire generation. Let's hope that this medal won by Palesha dif in dif difficult circumstances will become a turning point not only for para sports but also for the entire Nepali sports. As the Karnali Highway has been obstructed for four days, vehicles carrying apples worth millions of rupees have been stranded. Trucks carrying apples were stranded on the road after the road was obstructed due to landslides in Kalikods, Gagne Kola, Ismod, Dailiks, Malator, Dahi Kola. The landslide has blocked the Karnali Highway for four days. Trucks carrying apples from Jumla, Kalikot and Humla to Surkhet, Nepal Ganj and Kathmandu have been stopped midway due to landslides. As the road will take a few more days for traffic to resume, the risk of apples rotting on the road has increased. After the road was blocked, more than 150 trucks carrying apples were stranded on the road. Police said that more than 100 trucks carrying apples were stopped in Kalikot alone. Every year during the rainy season, the Karnali Highway is obstructed. People's representatives of Karnali and the province government have submitted a proposal of public concern to the federal parliament saying that an alternative to the Karnali Highway should be found. If the road is not open for traffic in the next three days, the apples will start to rot. Minister for Communication and Information Technology Prithvi Subha Gurung has issued controversial remarks. Speaking during a press meet organized by Press Chautari Nepal Gandaki in Pokhara earlier today, Minister Gurung said that the head of police had not assisted in the implementation of the Federal Police Act. <laughs> तो अब नॉस करने पूरा होता है तो ये जो धेरे क्वेश्चन भी बिसेर क्या कार्टून तो कुछ नहीं मानसिकता में ऐसे ये इसको से अवरोध से ये जो लोग मंत्री ले या जो लोग सरकार ले ये लोग प्रधान ले पसंद इसमें ऐसे ऐसा तो आप उठाओ मस्त ऐसा करो धेरे अवरोध करने तेज शक्तर लोग मारते हैं और जो प्रारंभिक आयोजन के � 
On this occasion, Minister Gurung condemned reports that the current government would not last for a long period of time. He said that the current government would introduce laws to ensure effectiveness of the provincial governments. In a different context, Minister Gurung said that the government communication system dates back to former King Mahindra's era and informed that required amendments would be made. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Finance Bishnu Podel has said that efforts were underway to ensure regular flights are operated from the Pokhara and Gautam Buddha International Airports and has urged the private sector to make required preparations in terms of hospitality. Speaking during a discussion held in Bhairava earlier today, Finance Minister Pordell said that the government had introduced a two-year special package for insurance companies, among others, for regular operation of flights in Pokhara and Bhairava International Airports. He urged the private sector to create a tourism-friendly environment and introduce packages with special discounts. During the program, Minister for Culture, Tourism and Civil Aviation, Badri Pandey, said that the government had prioritized the operation of international airports that have been constructed at an investment of billions of rupees. He said that at a time when revenue collection has declined, the government has taken the risk of introducing packages with heavy discounts to attract insurance companies. Can just lay Pradikaran, Usli Pratta Garni, Usko Arno, I threat Mabarikomi Amivara. The government has prepared a work plan to waive service fees for air tickets, ground handling, and fuel, among others, to facilitate the airport's full operation. It's now time for our segment Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. But before that, let's take a look at the results from yesterday's poll. Yesterday, we had asked you, what do you term the situation where bomb explosions are causing deaths even after 18 years of the end of armed conflict? 33% voted for A, irresponsible management of arms, 48% for B, irresponsible protesting entities, and 19% for C, public always in fear. And here's today's question. Why is the government neglecting road upgrading in Karnali? Your options are A. Ignoring Karnali B. Geographical difficulty and C. Lack of coordination The voting is on. Type NEWS. Select your option A, B or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. The 17th Library Day was observed across the country today by organizing various programs under the slogan Library for Continuous Education. Addressing a program organized on the occasion of the Library Day today, Minister for Education, Science and Technology, Bidya Bhattrai, said that the Education Act was important for proper management of libraries across the country and that efforts were underway in this regard. She said that libraries cannot be managed through time-worn policies. त्यो बीच को समन्वय सौ कार्य लाई पनी आमिले को सरी अगाड़ी बढ़ाऊं ने रा आपनों आपनों दायित्व लाई पनी को सरी और इन वितर परिवासित करने बनने इसाबले आमिले अगाड़ी बढ़ने पड़ने जिम्मेवारी सा तेज कल आगे आमिले और इन निर्माण कर जानू पर सब बनने कुरामा आमिले बोध कर अगाड़ी बढ़ने समेत प्रति� Minister Bhattrai stressed on the need to amend laws to ensure coordination between the three tiers of government. She added that efforts from the community and government level for the operation of libraries were not sufficient. During the program, experts opined that existing libraries were not sufficient and stressed on the need to create a favorable environment to read books through e-libraries. Those who had contributed in the establishment of the libraries were honored during the program today. In our public voice segment today, we have asked people in several provinces regarding the number and types of books they read. Let's take a look at what they had to say.
साहित्यिक कृति व्याकरण संबंधी कृति मढ़ने गु डाक्टर राजू अधिकारी का पुस्तक डाक्टर योगी विकासानंद का स्वास्थ्य संबंधी का अभी माइंड टेक्नोलॉजी संबंधी का सुपर लर्निंग संबंधी का पुस्तक प्राय पढ़ी रखे हो शखुआ सभा अरुण उपत्य यहाँ का भाषा जाति धर्म संस्कृति को बारे में लेखी पुस्तक पढ़् दर्शन सह संबंधित किताब उपन्यास मध्ययन करविता कथा निबंध यात्रा स्मरण लगाय विभिन्न विधा में लेखी साहित्य किताब लध्ययन कर मैं पसिलोचोटी एट नारी भपन्यास पढ़ा थे राष्ट्रभक्त खाल के लेख ती भाई अलग देशप्रेमी खाल पढ़ना मन लगता उमेर में उपन्यास पढ़ अब बच्चा बच्चे होमवर्क कराने पर्च तो स्कूल का किताब उन्क किताब पढ़ा पढ़ते अब टाइम तक बीत सामाजिक विषय वस्तु समावेश पढ़ना मन लगता मैक्सिम मेडिकल बुक्स नहीं पढ़ा चुनाव ओसो को किताब अलग तस्लिमा नस्रीन को एटा सेम भज्जा भाई बुक्स पढ़े प्रकाश कोविद जो दाजीलिंग का लेखक हो इवेन हम दाजीलिंग गए तो किताब कि वहाँ को किताब पढ़ने गर्थ At least 20 people have been killed by Israeli attacks in Nusrat, central Gaza, while at least 34 have been killed across the Strip today. The siege of Jenin City by Israeli forces has left Palestinian residents without food, water, electricity or internet access as the most intense military raid on the occupied West Bank in decades continues. UNRWA, the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees, says 20 Palestinians have been killed in the occupied West Bank since the start of the Israeli incursion last Wednesday, including a person with disabilities and several children. Meanwhile, a polio vaccination campaign in Gaza is set to begin tomorrow as aid groups expressed concerns that ongoing Israeli attacks limit their ability to deliver food and health care. At least 40,602 people have been killed and 93,855 have been injured in Israel's war on Gaza. An estimated 1,139 people were killed in Israel during the Hamas-led attacks on October 7. Sports News. The National Women's League with 10 participating teams will be held from tomorrow at the Anfa Complex in Sadabatu, Lalitpur. Coaches of the clubs participating in the tournament have said that preparations have been affected due to the rain. Many clubs claim to perform well despite short period of time for preparation. Three departmental, three provincial, two municipal and two commercial clubs will be participating in the National Women's League. Speaking at the pre-match press conference held today, a day before the tournament, Vice Captain of Koshi Province Simran Rai said that she is confident of her team performing well, although there was not enough preparation. The participating 10 teams will play in the single round-robin format. After all the teams play nine matches each within a month, five teams will qualify for the second round, while five teams will be eliminated. The teams that reach the second round will play in a double round-robin format at the Dasrat Stadium in Tripura Shore. The top four teams from the second round will play in the qualifiers and eliminators, and two teams will play in the title decider. Koshi Province are up against Walling in the inaugural match tomorrow at 3 p.m. All Nepal Football Association informed that spectators will be provided free entry to watch tomorrow's match. The cost of organizing the tournament is estimated at 22.5 million rupees. The champions of the tournament will bag 1 million rupees in prize money while the runners-up will secure 500,000 rupees. Likewise, the player of the tournament will win 100,000 rupees in prize money, while the fair play team will bag 150,000 rupees. Cricket Association of Nepal has made public the eight franchise teams that will be participating in the first edition of the upcoming Nepal Premier League. 
Issuing a notice today, can announce the participating eight franchise teams. According to the announcement, teams participating in the Nepal Premier League are from Biratnagar, Janakpur, Chitwan, Kathmandu, Pokhara, Lumini, Karnali and Sudurpashim. The Nepal Premier League will be held in Kathmandu from 30th of November till 21st of December. The Working Committee meeting of Cricket Association of Nepal held last Thursday had made public the number of teams that will be participating in the Nepal Premier League and the dates of the tournament. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Good night.